Welcome to Macro Golf Online YouTube. Today I am talking about being able to play golf forever. And I know you're going to say it's impossible to play golf forever. Fine. But if you can play golf for the rest of your life, I think that's a pretty good place to start. I want you to imagine two identical cars. Two cars exactly the same, but two very different owners. One of the owners takes this car, puts it with premium fuel, takes it every year for its service, its MOT, cleans it, looks after it, and cherishes it. And the other owner puts in the cheapest fuel, very rarely does it get serviced, does a minimum that is needed for an MOT, throws on any old tires, and doesn't really bother cleaning it. Take those two cars, fast forward 30 years, where do you think those cars will be? One of them is gonna be in the scrap, and the other one is still gonna be pretty much in good condition. Now there's no difference in the cars. Cars were exactly the same. The difference here was the owner of the cars and how they treated that vehicle. Now I want you to take the same situation and apply it to your body. As humans, we're given pretty much, with a little bit of variation, the same car to start off our journeys. Some of us treat our bodies well, we give it good fuel, we look after ourselves, we stretch, we mobilize, we train, and we pretty much look after it to the best of our ability. And some of us do the opposite. We don't put in good fuel, we don't do regular servicing of our bodies, we don't train regularly, we don't sleep enough and rest, and we end up with a second car in that scenario. Now, if you wanna play golf long into your old age, you need to be looking after your body the same as that first car. Now, this will always vary in degree. I'm not expecting anyone to be perfect and always be putting the perfect fuel, always be servicing our bodies, and always doing everything we need to do to have the perfect engine. But when we think about this metaphor, it gives us a better understanding of why some of us are able to play golf long into our old age, and others are struggling with pain, discomfort, and difficulties even in our 30s. So you understand that you need to look after your body, you need to service your body, you need to give it the correct fuel, but what really does that look like for us as golfers? Now I'm a huge advocate, and I talk about this a lot, of servicing your body, and I always use the car example for this as well. The more regularly we can service our bodies, the less likely we are to end up with difficulties. Now servicing your body, for me and what I try and push is movement, mobility, exercise, all of these things will act as servicing. It's also important that we go through an MOT, it's important that we regularly check, we regularly measure our movement, measure our mobility, and understand what is going on with our body as we age. Putting in the correct fuel and correct nutrition is a huge part of this as well, but also is sleep, rest, and recovery. It's not new to us that giving ourselves good nutrition, exercise, servicing our bodies will delay and improve the aging process. But I want you to think about the game of golf that you play at the moment and everything you're working on. Do you think the things that you're working on at the moment are gonna get harder as you get older? And we always seem to believe that the future version of ourselves is gonna be better than we are. We always believe that we're always gonna be improving. Uh, we're always gonna be working on our technique and, and, and getting better. But we know that's not the case. You're not, you're not necessarily gonna be a better golfer when you're 80 compared to what you are now. But by working on these things and servicing our body, we give ourselves a much better chance of being able to be better in the future. And for a lot of us, even just being able to play late into our old age is enough of a benefit. So I want you to think about the two versions of these cars, and I want you to think about how you've treated your own car or your body over the last few years. Have you been giving it the right fuel? Have you been regularly servicing it? Have you been having regular MOTs? Have you been getting enough rest? And luckily it's never too late to make changes in all of these areas. So I'm not gonna bore you with nutrition. This is not why you've started to watch this video, but we know that having good nutrition is gonna help us with all of these aspects. But in terms of golf, I always want us to think about our mobility as well. And it, when I talk about mobility, I don't just mean stretching or mobilizing. I mean, thinking about how we move and always being aware of the way that we are moving and trying to improve the way that we move. The better we move, the less likely we are to get injuries, the better we're gonna perform. And we're just delaying that process of putting extra strain on our body. Physical training is gonna have a huge part of this as well. Resistance training, exercise, movement, delaying the amount of time we sat down. So just try and cover as many of these areas as you can to delay this process. We are all putting miles on the clock that is our body at the same rate. But how is your body gonna perform in when it gets to 100,000, 150,000 miles. It's possible for us to play golf long into our life. We just need to make sure we're doing everything we can to give ourselves the best opportunity. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you took some kind of value from this video and maybe you'll change one or two of your habits as you go to try and improve your golf. And it'll mean a lot for me. If you did like this video, you learned something new. If you hit the like button uh, and also hit the subscribe button as well. But until then guys, I'll see you on the next video.